so we're back again. We were talking about estrogen and progesterone, um, using their name to basically explain what they do. A lot of the hormones follow that particular principle. If you look at their names, it tells you what they do. So in estrogen, G GEN in medical terminology means the creation of, as in Genesis, um, in the book of um, Genesis in the Bible, the good Lord will be making stuff. So whenever you see the word gen or genesis, it means something is being created. In this case, estro for egg, so the egg is being created. So this hormone actually is associated with the creation of the egg. It has nothing to do with getting pregnant. Now, as a sidebar, when this hormone is a lot in the system, the ovary says, we have made an egg. We don't need to make an egg again. Which is why some um, some contraceptives contain high amounts of estrogen. So the ovary literally shuts down its creation of mature eggs. Now, progesterone, pro means in support of, gesto, gestation, to get pregnant. <coughs> so this hormone, it does to the uterus whatever is necessary to make the uterus quiet. Because the uterus does not like stuff on its insides. So, if there is a baby in the uterus, the normal response of the uterus is to push it out. That's what it's designed to do. Push anything inside there out, so it naturally contracts. When there's high amounts of progesterone, it tells the uterus, go to sleep. So progesterone is like the sleeping pill for the uterus. The thing about progesterone is, it doesn't just stop at the uterus. It affects a, it affects a lot of other smooth muscles too, which is why when a woman is pregnant, especially the first three months, she might feel constipated, feel blah, basically. And in some women, even when their period is um, about a week out, because the progesterone levels have gone up, they'll be like, I don't know, I just don't feel myself. I feel weak, I feel tired, I feel blah. All right, so <coughs> progesterone encourages the possibility of having a baby stay in the uterus, okay? Um, to have a baby stay in the uterus, you also have to have blood supply because the baby is going to get nutrients from the placenta. So progesterone will cause an increase in the proliferation of blood vessels to the uterine wall. When progesterone levels shut down, the uterine wall thins out and the woman will have, will have her period because once again, with low progesterone, the uterus is like, I have some blood vessels in here that shouldn't be here. I don't like that. I don't want stuff on the inside. And it starts to squeeze and the lady has her period. All right, does that work? All right. Um, all right, so let's pause on that for now. We'll go to another video pretty soon.